Let's turn a Raspberry Pi into an Amazon Alexa. I'm going to be using the Alexa developer documentation, and they have documentation for Raspberry Pi specifically. They do have one, Raspberry Pi with the script, that they say is easier, but it errors out for me, so I'm using Raspberry Pi from source. Let's see what we need. Use a modern Raspberry Pi. They recommend three or four, eight gigabytes in your SD card, and then we need a speaker and a microphone. I'm using a speaker connected with a three and a half millimeter jack and then also a USB webcam as my microphone. It has to be a USB microphone. A note here about using a fan as your Raspberry Pi might overheat. I haven't had a problem with that and I don't use a fan. I'm frustrated with Amazon here because they haven't updated this tutorial in so long. Like they think Raspbian Buster is the newest. I'm using Bullseye on my Raspberry Pi 4B and works for me just fine. Let's register an Amazon Voice Services product and create a security profile. So I'm going to click that link. It gets the instructions here. So we got a few steps. Create a developer account, create a product, product information, and then set up the security profile. All right, let's go to this link. It's going to ask you to sign in to an Amazon account. I'm just going to use an existing Amazon account that I have. And then the developer portal just 404s. Like, come on, Amazon. Okay, and here you might need to go complete registration. I do not. I've already filled out this information. But we need to register this product, so we just kind of have to click around. So Amazon Voice Services under the Alexa tab. And then if we go to Manage Your Products here, and then we can add a new product. And then let's fill out this information. I'm going to call this RPI268. I'm just going to give it the same information here because it doesn't really matter. And then this is going to be a device with Alexa built in. Product category, computing. I don't know. I'm going to call this a tutorial. If this is your personal service, these details don't really matter. I'm not using a companion app. It's going to be hands-free. Don't need an image, not for business and then not for children. Next, let's create a new security profile. The name for this profile is gonna be called RPI Profile, doesn't really matter. Tutorial Security Bread Meatloaf, does not matter here. Next. All right, so we're gonna go all the way over to other devices and platforms, and then type in a random client ID. So RPI ID, does not matter. Generate ID, and then we get this file that we can download. So let's download that, save. I'm gonna replace my existing one for you guys, and then Let's agree, sell our soul to Amazon, and finish. Product has been created. Awesome. Another thing you can do is go to this URL. I'll link it in the description. And then we can add different capabilities like name, timers, location services, multi-room music, and display cards. I'm going to do named timers and display cards with text. And then I'm not going to include any of these features, but feel free. Update. Yes, update. Okay. So, going back and back. Step one, complete. We have registered. And now we got to set up our Raspberry Pi. I'm going to be SSHing into my Raspberry Pi. Maybe you're using VNC or you have your Raspberry Pi connected up via HDMI. If that's the case, just skip the SSH step. Pi at Raspberry Pi, which is my set as my host name. Yes, I would like to add that. And then my password. Password entered and complete. So now we're going to set up the Raspberry Pi environment. We can just select all of this and then copy and then right click to paste over here. 
and then click enter to run that last one. It'll do all the work for us. Keep scrolling down. Let's update. Copy, right click to paste, enter. All of the instructions and commands for this video will be found in the description below that you can follow along, copy and paste, do whatever you want. I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for you. Okay, now the next one, copy and paste, enter. I would budget about an hour for installation. There are some processes that take 10, 20 minutes to load and complete. All installed. Now we're going to install port audio and curl. Copy all that. Right click, paste. Enter for that last make command. On to step three, let's download the Amazon Voice Services device SDK. Copy, paste, and then enter. Step four, build it. Copy this whole thing. Paste, enter. Okay, and then note here, so if you wanna use the whole SDK for a project of yours, then you just type make, but if you just wanna use the sample app to get the Alexa working, then it's make sample app. That's what I'm going to do. Copy, paste. I'm gonna put time command in front so we can see how long it actually takes. All right, you can see that took 37 minutes, but all installed, no errors. Moving on to step five, setting up the SDK configuration file. Okay, so we downloaded that config.json file a little while ago, and now we have to get it onto our Raspberry Pi. I got another command prompt window open here. Put that over top, and we're gonna use an SCP command, secure copy, to get that config.json file onto our Raspberry Pi, SCP. Now I put that in downloads, and then it's config.json. Change the file path to wherever that file is, and then our location is going to be, just like we're SSHing, pi at raspberry pi, and then colon, whatever the file location is. And in this case, it's this big one. If you downloaded it directly onto your pi, then just go into your file directory, file explorer, and move the config.json file into this directory. Copy that, I'm gonna paste it here, fix the dash problem right there, and then enter, enter my password. Okay, I can close out of this command prompt, and now in my Raspberry Pi, let's just verify that my config.json file is actually here, so that's copied, ls to list, and then that directory, Boom, right there, config.json. Okay, let's uh, run the genconfig.sh script. Basically, I'm just gonna copy and paste this whole thing. Copy, and then paste. Right click, oop, I copied the wrong thing. Okay, back over, back over here, copy, paste. Enter to do that last one, and uh, looks like it worked. Okay, audio stuff. So here we go, we got another command here. We have to add sudo, or at least I have to add sudo before that because I'm not a root. Okay, we're not, this error right here, it doesn't show the whole thing. You're not supposed to edit this according to whatever. But Okay, copy this right here, the G streamer. Enter, one, two, three, four spaces, and then right click to paste. And that's all we need to do for that one. Control S to save, Control X to exit. Set up the microphone. And then once again, I need to do sudo nano squiggly dash dot a sound RC. So sudo nano squiggly dash dot a sound 
RC. But before we do that, one thing that this tutorial doesn't take into account is that these numbers might be different depending on however you plugged into your Pi. So to figure that out, let's type A play. Oops, come on. Control L to clear to the top. Let's do A play dash L. And this is for your speaker. So you see here how it says one comma zero and then zero comma zero. So playback is your speaker. I'm using headphones because I'm in the three and a half millimeter jack and it's card zero, device zero. So I'm gonna do zero comma zero like this says. But then if you do a record dash L, this is for the microphone, card one, device zero. I am what this suggests I am. Okay, copy that. And so then sudo nano squiggly dash dot a sound rc and then just paste it's if you have a different card comma device number then change the zero or change the one or whatever you need to to match card and device for speaker and as well as mic control s to save control x to exit now let's test out our microphone copy that paste enter Test, test, all right, testing. And you should see the audio bars show up if your microphone's working properly. I did control C to abort that. And now let's step seven, run and authorize the sample app. Copy that, paste, did the first one, enter for the last one. And now we gotta go to this website right here and enter the code. Oh, I should not have done control C. Whoops. Ay, ay, ay. Control C. Get out of there. Okay. Let's uh, redo that. Okay. Copy. Paste. Enter. Okay. My code is. And this is kind of annoying because it just keeps sliding away okay uh, you kinda gotta go quick so copy that and then my code is CZPJUA yours is gonna be different alright let's go here use your developer account what was that code again There's got to be a way to prevent auto scrolling. I just don't know, know how. C Z P J U A. C Z P J U A. All right, continue. And then allow. Success. It's now authorized. I'm going to control C. I'm going full screen and then pasting that command. Enter. Okay, Alexa is idle, and here are the commands to interact with it. I'm gonna press T and then enter, and then tell it my command. T, enter. What is the weather in Boston today? And it didn't work for me. That is because I need to kill Pulse Audio. It is using ALSA, I think, and so that gets a little conflicting, and then Alexa doesn't have access to my mic if Pulse Audio is not killed. So kill that, run the command again, I'm just gonna paste it, enter, already authorized, and then we're gonna use T and enter for the query, T, enter, what is the weather in Boston today? Right now in Boston, Massachusetts, it's 37 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Tonight's forecast has just a few clouds in the sky with a low of 28 degrees. Hope you've enjoyed your Tuesday. There you have it. We got an Amazon Alexa. Super easy. Almost easier than a Google Assistant installation on the Raspberry Pi, but you can install it following my tutorial on my channel and figure that out for yourself. 
Both are pretty fun to use and then also a great use of your Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment for me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you want more Raspberry Pi tutorials, subscribe and like because it's motivating for me and happy coding.